Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Melt with Nat and Jack. I'm Natalie, welcome if it's your first time here. If you're returning, welcome back. So um, today, this I'm gonna be doing a couple of videos today with the collab. My If you don't know about the collab, it is the Low Buy, No Buy that was started by Drew and his team, um, which I ha have had all their names listed below. If you haven't gone to their channels, I highly suggest you go to their channels. They are the best. I have learned so much from them and I'm so honored to be following along. It has been so healthy for me to learn self-control, especially in the past week with all the vendors having their pre-orders and RTSs and I have not ordered from one. We are... Um, our allowance is $100 a month. If you don't stick to that, it's okay. You can still follow along. We all go off track in life. I know I have. Um, I don't make New Year. I'm not one to make New Year's resolutions. I want to live every day and do the best I can. But I needed to do this because I have way, way too much wax. I have spent so much money in like the past eight, nine months since I discovered um, all the, the vendor wax and all the YouTubers and hearing about the vendors that they order from. And I'm like, oh, I wanna check them out. And I had no self-control instead of just maybe buying $50 worth of stuff to check them out. Now I was spending hundreds of dollars each order. Um, so this was like the best thing ever for me. Um, so anyone who's following along, I'm so excited. Please comment below how you're doing and what you've learned and, and just any, everything I want to know. So, okay. So last week's collab was scoopables. I'm sorry, <laughs> scoopables and clamshells, whether it be use up clamshells you've already started or just regular clamshells. Um, so that was last week's theme. For me, most of the clamshells that took up a lot of time weren't like going through for me were the 25 bring back my bars because I had to go through them. I was already behind the eight ball um, to get them reviewed for, for my customers. So I had to go through my 25 of those, which I did all in the past week, which is going to be another review that will be up today. But I wanted to start with this first. So let me get started. I had originally pulled eight scoopables in two sizes, in the mini size and in the big size. And I got through, out of them, the eight, I got through half, I got through four of them. And I would have never even probably done any of these. I just never reached for the for scoopables. So when I started on the scoopables this week, I'm like, oh, these are not for me. They're messy. They get were getting on my hands. And then to get them out of the the warmers, I know you got to dump them while they're hot. That's the best way. Or while they're warm, that's the best way. So it was a little bit different than what I'm used to because I either do the freezer method with my Sensi, you just shut them off. And then in like 10 minutes, you go back and boom, they they come right out like jet, like beautifully. So, um, but after warming the scoopables, let me tell you, the scent throw. I really learned this week the scent throw on these scoopables is so amazing and they last all the ones I did all day and night. Some of them went into a second day. I mean, I, I was changing them out day two because I wanted to keep rolling and trying new ones, but I am definitely now a scoopable person because I think that the, the set and the throw is amazing. These might be what works for me come the hot weather in the heat with the AC on because I really have to cut down because I feel like I wasted so much wax in my house with when the AC is on. I have a ranch. It's very open concept. And um, I don't get much of a throw when the AC is blasting in my house. Um, only with my Sensi stuff, the ones I know, specific ones. But the Scoopables might be my thing, might be my ticket. So I'm really excited. And I love them. So the first one I got through was Cookie Therapy Craze that my granddaughter picked out last week. It was the rainbow one. And I loved it. I would definitely get more of this one. I got through Ice Cream Party Berry Waffle Cone. 
and I love Berry Waffle Cone in the candle, so I, I loved it in the scoopable. Um, I got through Strawberry Pound Cake Zucchini Bread White Elephant Exchange. Amazing. And then I got through, and what I did was, the reason I didn't get through all, do all eight is because if I was to touch on all eight, I would have ended up with eight that were still going to have some left and I would have had to put back again. My goal was to get it out, was to move it on out because I still have a whole trough full of scoopables. So I wanted to start them and finish them. So some of them I did two days in a row. Like I clean out my, I clean out my warmers and then just do a scoopable that I already had going because I just didn't want to have eight open ones at the end of the week to put them away. I didn't want them. So that's why I finished them. So most of them were two dayers. Like I did it two days in a row. And then I did Elm Street. This one was light. I smelled it for a little bit and then it went away. So this would not be a repurchase. But the first three I just mentioned, all repurchases. Then last night to end my scoopable night, I've been savoring this because I had it in her wax. And I had asked her in one of her um, orders Jenny, if she would do this again in wax, and she did it in the scoopable, and it's the zucchini bread, brown sugar, and fruit loops, and it's my absolute favorite in the wax. I loved it. So she did it in the scoopable. So I started this one, and this is the only one then that I started that I didn't put back, and it was just as amazing in the scoopable as the wax. It might have even been a little bit stronger throw, but that could have also been because I have no AC on in the weather, and that's why I smelled it even more. And I was so happy with it. I actually got a backup of this one. And I think I will always, always have this. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the scoopables. I didn't go through. That's in my last week video. If you watch that, you'll see what I was going, my plan was. So, so I did pretty good, three of them. So out of the eight, three of them, I didn't even touch. They're going to go back in the draw. And the three I didn't touch, they're more uh, summery, like beach nights and salty sea air ones. So it's been so ice cold all week here where I live at the Jersey Shore that I didn't want to warm the beach nights in the salty sea I really want to save them for when the nicer weather comes. So be, I'm not going to do what I warmed in my bring back my bars. I have to do that in a separate video. The only other clamshells I have besides Scentsy clamshells was um, a sensational one. And I actually pulled this in our blue week for week one, and I had it in, in my um, the kids' bathroom. And I had forgotten to um, pull it last week when I did my empties, and it was still sitting in the kids' bathroom. And I had to pull this. It's a sensational, and it's the lemon blueberry donuts. I had put in an order with sensationals a couple of months ago. And when I got the order and I went through the wax, I didn't do a haul on it because... I just didn't think their wax was that great. So I wasn't going to do a haul on something. I'm going to sit here and bash someone. I'm not doing that. I'm not. If, if I get a, a haul and it's something, I'm just like, okay, I made a little mistake here. Lesson learned. I'm not doing a haul on that because I'm not doing that. But just to let you know, because this was blue, I said, ah, you know what? I got to start warming through this sensational. This wax is, when you warm it, is so good. Don't go by what it is on cold. I just smelt wax when I was opening these. Plus they sat for like about two months. It was like right before Thanksgiving, I want to say that I got the order and um, they're still sitting in the box in my guest room closet. And okay, this is a reorder, repurchase for me. It's lemon blueberry donuts. I think the trick with sensationals is letting them sit and don't go by what you smell on cold. So I loved it. I wanted to show this because I didn't last week. I did a butter pecan and that had a few cubes in it, which I showed last week. I got rid of that. This one I talked about last week that I got like three years ago from my consultant. I even have her name sticker still on there. And she gave me this bar, Palm Beach Breeze, and I never used it. And I don't know why. It was just like buried in my drawer with all my clamshells. So I did two cubes of this in my bedroom, and I absolutely loved it. I just didn't get a chance to do, do more of it because of the bring back my bar. That really took up most of my time this week. Oh, I also got through Dexter's Peanut Butter and Jelly. 
And here's, I was putting post-its on some things. And on Dexter's peanut butter and jelly, I had it in the room I'm sitting in right now, my game room. And it was spread through four warmers I have in here. And I wrote, I absolutely need more with a heart. Um, so that's Dexter's pours and it's their peanut butter and jelly. And that was the note I put in there. And that's what it looks like. It was fabulous. I actually have two more clamshells of this and I will be ordering more from Dexter Pores of this. And it went for two full days in my game room. I didn't have to change the wax in here. For two full days, every time I came in here, I'm like, oh my God, it is excellent. So that's, I'm just letting you guys know, excellent. Loved it. Okay. Then I got, I had a few cubes of birthday wishes and a few cubes of coastal sunset. So coastal sunset, birthday wishes, and I alternated two cubes and two cubes. Okay, so I alternated two cubes and two cubes in my granddaughter's two warmers I have in her room. And then in my room, I still had coastal sunset cubes, two left. And I put them in my, I put it in my room and that's coastal sunset. Um, I think it's going to be in the spring summer catalog. I just got my catalogs. I literally just opened my box to give a customer a catalog when she came here to pick up her order. I haven't looked through it yet. I still have to study it and do my, edit my club before the 31st. So yes, um, I did this straight up in my room and then I alternated in my granddaughter's room to get rid of these two. I have plenty more birthday wishes. It's in my club book. Then I did in my kitchen, Kay's Scented Melts Library and loved it. I have two cubes left and I think I didn't do the two cubes because now I'm savoring it because I loved it so much. So I'll probably do it one night in my room when I go to chill out in there so I can enjoy it, but that's a definite repurchase. Okay, I had said that I didn't like the January scent of the month. It wasn't for me, but I could see people really liking it if you're into fruity like that. There's only certain fruits I do like of in blends. Um, so I took Sun Ripened Berry, which is January scent of the month. And I did a cube and a cube with Around the Campfire. Around the Campfire is one of my favorites. It's in my club. Okay, another one is, that I ha I've had this one for the longest time and I had just a couple cubes left. I put a post-it in here. I put three cubes that I had left into my home office of lemon verbena. And it's really nice. I like it. But if I, I like my lemon sorbet. Like that's my favorite one. So I wouldn't repurchase this, but I could definitely see people loving it. I would, I would warm it again if, if I had more of it. Um, I liked it, but if I'm doing lemon, I'm doing my lemon sorbet. Okay, and then I mixed. I had a couple cubes left of each, and I mixed Berry Blessed to Sugar Cookie. So I got rid of those. So I got rid of a lot of clamshells, and like I said, I had to do the Bring Back My Bar, so that really kind of took up a lot of the, me warming this week. But um, I'm, I'm happy. I got through a lot. Thank you, Drew, so much because I literally, I can't believe I went through four scoopables, which really taught me something about scoopables in the past week. So I learned that I love scoopables and I'm psyched that they work so good in my house that I think when the air conditioning's on, that's going to be my summer go-to. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's my, that's what I warmed last week. I'm going to come right back now with a video for our neck for our collab that starts today which is risky risky business i'm going to call it but it's risky week i think risky week or risky business so i'll be right back to do what i'm what i pulled for that thank you so much god bless thank you guys